Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about Final Cut crashing when relinking files. I will show you the, um, I guess, how it crashes and how to work around it. Um, because when it crashes, you have issues. So let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, right off the bat, I'm just going to open up a project that I got from a collaborator and I'm going to try to open it. And obviously, everything's going to be missing files. That doesn't scare me. Um, let's go ahead and once it loads, I'll go ahead and try to link files and I'll show you what the, what the issues are. And this is not only me, this is multiple people have been having this. Um, and when it does crash, um, I'm having a hard time opening up the project. And also, uh, if I do get an opportunity to open the project, it creates files. Uh, it like relates a few files, but it also creates files that have no data. So if you have an edited project, you're going to have issues with uh, black black video files that you can't necessarily relink anymore. Uh, so let's go ahead and link. Let's just click locate, locate all. I'm going to go ahead and point to the folder that all the files are. It's going to go ahead and verify the files for compatibility. As you can see, uh, as you will see, all the files are compatible. Um, the issue is relinking. So you can notice that. Let's see. All right, so everything was compatible. Let's go ahead and click Relink Files. And this is where the issue is going to uh, become visible. One, two, three. About three seconds, and it crashes. Let's go ahead and try to open that file again. Um, the issue that I get with it is Final Cut becomes unresponsive many times. I don't know if it will do it this time, but and I'll try to show you exactly what the issue is. What I used to do back in the days is if it crashes, I would just relaunch it and continue relinking. And I got some luck with certain files getting relinked, but then again, there was that uh, no data files that are not possible to relink. So you would have to physically go in and replace on the timeline those files. It, it was a pain in the butt. So it looks like Final Cut is not responding. I'm going to go ahead and quit because I already know this is what's going to do. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that and I'm going to extract the, new, the, the original so everything's unlinked. And I'm going to go ahead and open that original unlinked file, the one that basically has me not touching it. So this is as if though I got it from the collaborator just now. I'm going to go ahead and open it and I'll walk you through of how to get it to work perfectly. This is where it's going to get interesting. I've been um, working on this for quite a bit and I've been kind of troubleshooting it here and there and I finally got a system to work with this. So basically the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load up the project that I want to um, that I want to do. So I'll go ahead and go in here and there is multiple projects. I know it's this one, 04 reception program synced. Um, as I can see, it's a pretty big project. Um, it is two hours and 33 minutes. This is a document to edit, but anyways, that's not the point. So let's move on. Let's go file, new library. I'm gonna, gonna actually mark that in there, sorry. File, new library. I forgot that I was using dual, dual screens. File, new library. We're going to create a library straight in here. I'm going to just copy that. Just so I'll put B2. That's going to be my relinking. And now I'm actually going to go Command A. I'm going to select the whole timeline that I had open. I'm going to click Command C. And now I'm going to go into here, into my new version of the project. I'm not worried about renaming anything correctly right now. I'll rename it. If everything works, I'll be renaming it correctly and deleting the, the file that I got. So it takes a while, but file, new, project. We'll just call it reception v2. I'm actually going to make sure that all the settings are right because uh, when I'm pasting, I actually want to be accurate. So it should open that file. And now I go to the beginning and I press command feed. Now it's going to tell me that some multi-cam cl clips are getting copied, so a bunch of stuff I need to copy from the other library. 
which I'm okay with. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And it takes quite a bit to do that. What it's doing right now is it's literally copying the timeline clip for clip onto this new timeline. Um, don't know how hard it is for the computer, but it is. Um, so I want to right away take a look at a few things. One is how many clips are in this library. There are 736 clips. This one is 791 clips. Technically, that's a bit concerning that we have a different amount of clips. But at the same time, if you look at this project, it's edited. It literally copied only the clips that made it into this file. So I don't know which ones didn't make it in. Um, I could technically go through and find which ones did not make it in. But if you think about it, if they didn't get edited, you really don't need them in the final project. So yes, you could start you know, looking at it and stuff like that and finding the missing clips that are not in, there's probably like, what, 60 missing, but I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to go ahead and just actually take the library and relink this now um, from a simple copy and paste. That's the interesting thing is that we literally copied and pasted to a new library. Keep in mind, a new library, not a new event, it has to be a completely separate library. All right, now let's go ahead and do the test. See if this all works. Link in files, we did not see that before. We see it now. I usually don't even move my mouse at this point. I'm always concerned for any form of crash. But Final Cut, for some reason, always gets stuck at like 60, 50, 30, or whatever it is, and just stands there. But in the background, it's actually relinking piles. There we go. Nothing crash. Everything works. Boom. We have, we have success. All right, so now let's, while it's, it's actually gonna start doing crazy things like analyzing the waveforms because remember all that is gone right now so we're actually out of all that um, this is a documentary edit so it's a longer form edit uh, but there you go that's how you fix the issue of final cut crashing at a relink hopefully this helps you and hopefully uh, you can be relinking some project files that you could not relink before thank you and have a great day